Hello and welcome to the latest Grease Pencil development video. Okay, so um, today I'm going to be talking about a new, new feature I've added to make it easier for animating. So oftentimes when, we've, um, oftentimes when we want to animate and we've got um, uh, an existing frame, so for example if we moved frame 3, you know, you've seen it we've already got this, this stuff visible but maybe we want to start fresh, you know. Uh, so that, yeah, start fresh, make it easier to draw a new pose. So what we're going to do is we've got this new operator here called add blank frame. What this will do is it will add a new blank, add a new frame on the timeline, but it won't copy over the strokes from the previous, um, from the previous frame, uh, making it so that you can just start drawing straight away. So let's do this at that. Okay, so we press add blank frame, and we've got a blank frame. Okay, and then we can go in here and just start drawing. So, yeah, something like this. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. And you know, we're gonna do um, go to the next frame and do that again. Okay. Okay. If I turn on the scanning. Um, Okay. okay, and you know, um, so so I use in draw mode. You can actually use the B key. Yeah, so press that. Um, yeah, you'll see that this also creates a new frame. So so that was B. Okay. Or if you're not in draw mode, you can just press D plus B. So, okay, so, okay. Okay, so, okay, so that's, so you've got three ways to operate this, so you can uh, do it from here, you can do it from here, you can uh, use the B key while drawing, or you can use D plus B in any mode, you know, object mode, or hit the strikes mode, whatever. Um, yeah, so so that's, that's one usage. Um, another thing I like to point out is that you can use it to actually, um, so um, another thing I like to point out is that if you're on some existing frame, like here we're on frame three. Okay, I've got selected. If I press add blank frame, what will happen is it will sh it will move all these existing frames one frame later. So let's see what happens. Bam. Okay. Right. So that was our selected frame. It was in frame three. It's now in frame four. Okay. So okay, two, three, four. Bum 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 bum. Right. Um. So, yeah, another useful thing, another place where this can be useful is if we're saying uh, we're sort of creating um, a new layer, okay? So, f for example, maybe some backdrops or something. So we've got this new uh, background layer and we're gonna create some new strokes using one of these, uh, one of these, okay. We're going to use this one here, so what we do is, okay, yeah, so bring that up, okay, so, so, so here we've created a whole bunch of, um, um, a whole bunch of um, new backgrounds for, for this particular frame, but, you know, maybe you don't want it on the next frame, you know, or, the previous frame. So what you can do is you can use this add blank frame feature to just clear clear it um, so that it doesn't bleed into the neighboring frames. Um, or maybe that one, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, there's a quick demo of the new um, add, oops, <laughs> add blank frame feature. Okay, enjoy.